Leo. This is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general read for the week of January 7, 2019. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, and retweet. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those reads below this video. Now, if you didn't check out last week's video, I invite you to go do so because your 2019 highlights are at the beginning of that video. Also, I do post a one-minute video once a day, so be sure to check them out as well. Okay, Leo, energy looking pretty good. Um, this is another sign that I'm seeing a lot of reconnections from the past. Maybe someone you thought you would never reconnect with or someone that, you know, you ended things bitterly with, that you're restoring that friendship. That is at play. Communications across the board are really wide open for you guys. Also see you making plans and rethinking your options. Someone close coming in. Um, this is not the same person from the past. This is someone different that you may be a little apprehensive about, but actually this person is coming in with some advice or something, or some way to help you out. So let's take a look. This is for Leo for your week of January 7th, 2019. Okay, Leo, we start with the Page of Pentacles, followed by the Three of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Seven of Swords, Major Arcana of the World, and we have that Queen of Cups. So let me break this down for you guys, and we'll pull you three more, starting with the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles uh, that want and desire to do things differently with your finances. This is financial planning, not just for this week, but maybe for your 2019 ahead, uh, the next few weeks in particular, because beside that, I see the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles doesn't show so much as a financial stress as a say, financial regret. So maybe some of you overdid it uh, at Christmas or we've got an unwanted expense that has come into play. Please know I see this as brief in passing and that you will recover quickly from that. King of Cups showing you guys are feeling pretty balanced at this time. You're feeling pretty stable. You're uncertain of where you're being led, but overall you're feeling stable. Moving forward, you've got a warning coming in with that Seven of Swords. This is deceit. This is someone lying to you, directly lying to you. This could also indicate, especially going back to that Three of Pentacles, where I said unexpected ascents, lock your stuff up. This could be someone stealing from you this week. Next to that, also recover quickly because we have the world. The world is your oyster. And with that Queen of Cups going next to that King of Cups, King of Cups indicating your balance is being restored. Queen of Cups so showing that you're taking the steps to continue with that balance. You guys are starting to feel that you're on the right path and you're going to pursue something a little different there. Now moving forward, Leo, you have that Four of Cups. You have the Major kind of the Hangman. You have the High Priestess. Let's keep going. You guys got the Magician, and you have the Seven of Pentacles. Now, I will never end a reading on a major arcana because his messages are significant. Going back to the beginning of your reading, this is the Four of Cups. This is someone coming in with an unexpected offer of assistance. This may be that person that said you may be a little skeptical about, but also someone that is there willing to help you out. You have the hangman showing you guys, and I've seen this a lot in Leo, you may be feeling stuck. You feel that you're not moving forward, you're not moving backwards, there's no movement at you at you at this time. And then we have that high priestess, which shows what you want and desire is within reach, but there is a delay attached to that. Then we have the magician coming in play. Now the magician is overriding your entire reading, and the fact you got that with the world is very significant. This is your yes answer. This is you get what you want and desire. This is your highest card in the tarot deck. Okay, uh, this indicates everything you want and desire is on that table before you, and then we end with the seven of pentacles, working and gaining, recovering from what I saw in the finances at the beginning of the reading. So what you guys need to know for your week. Starting with, the world is your oyster. If you're feeling a little bit stuck, that's okay because it's really not the case. Then we have a little bit of delays in upcoming plans. But don't forget, you ended with that magician overriding everything. Your yes answer and you get what you want. So thank you guys for watching. Please check out your daily videos and take the time to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye.